This is the future. This is absolutely the future. We are living it here on a retired airstrip outside San Francisco, California, with two geese taking in the scenery right outside, watching a silver bullet drive by. We're at Formal Naval Air Station Alameda, and the reason we're here today is because we're gonna be taking a look at the Mercedes F015 Luxury in Motion. Now this is the vehicle that debuted at CES a few weeks ago to a huge reaction for a couple of reasons. Uh, one, it's self-driving. Two, it really does look like it's from the future. It looks like nothing that we've ever seen before. Uh, we're actually gonna have a chance to drive it today, and hopefully uh, we don't die. It's not a street legal car. That's why we're out here in this place. So let's hope everything goes according to plan. Almost everything about the F-015 is designed with autonomous driving in mind. From the outside, you can barely tell there are windows for passengers to see out of it all. They're there, but a metallic coating makes it look like uninterrupted flowing metal from top to bottom. A prominent hump on the roof contains high-precision GPS equipment, which isn't something you see on an everyday car. Oh, and there are lasers in the front, and it talks to pedestrians nearby. You know, totally normal stuff. We're about to get in. If I die, tell my family I died doing what I love, I guess. So I'm sitting in the driver's seat of the F-015 here, and you'll notice that I'm facing backwards. I'm not facing toward the windshield, uh, which is one of the cooler features of a self-driving car. You don't have to be looking forward. And we're surrounded by LCDs, and these are actually touch screens. You can do a variety of different things. You can, um, you can change the speed that you're going. Uh, you can control music. Uh, you can call people and you can change the background here um, to whatever you want. You can have it be a 360 degree photo. Uh, you can rotate that photo around. So there's a retractable table in here uh, that can serve all four passengers and they can play games so that as you're driving, you're just sort of like having fun. Uh, and the car's rolling right now, by the way. We didn't have anything to do with that. The car just started moving on its own. The steering wheel is literally behind me, behind my seat. Uh, nobody's touching it. We're just we're we're just rolling, uh, and and you'll you'll see the images on the displays uh, in the doors are kind of moving along, but they have nothing to do with the scenery outside. It's just whatever you want it to be. You can experience some other environment. It's very very sci-fi in every sense of the word. The legislation doesn't exist to actually allow any of this right now, but Mercedes is looking at this as a vision of 2030. They're calling it a research vehicle, not a concept vehicle. A lot of the stuff that's happening in here, they're testing uh, in the hopes that eventually the legislation will catch up and by the time 2030 rolls around, maybe we'll see cars that actually look like this on the road. I don't know whether I'd personally own something like this, but I think it's too soon to say. Maybe it's a generational leap. Maybe our kids will be driving vehicles that look and work like this. Maybe they're not for us, but the fact that they're actually working. They're not just concepts, they're working, they're driving on deserted airstrips uh, is pretty amazing. Uh.